100 for 100, the podcast where uh, if you were a first, uh, not a first time, if you're an early movie watcher, if you're just now getting into watching film, these are the 100 movies that I think everyone just getting into film should definitely put on their list of things to watch. And it's ranked from 100 all the way up to one, each one being accompanied by a 100 word review hosted by me yours truly seen uh the creator of the pop Rica network this is on the pop Rica podcast network and we are one two three four five we're five days into the year guys it's january 5th if we're listening to this the day it goes up and we're moving right along man uh if you remember our last episode was 1989's field of dreams a little bit of father son action there for you this week or today, I should say, we go in a completely different direction. We're in the 2010s, barely, in this movie. And this is a 2010 film directed by one Edgar Wright. And it's called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Coming in at our number 96 spot. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Let's get down on this 100-word review, shall we? <clears throat> as far as comic book adaptations go, Scott Pilgrim remains one of the most faithful to its source material, featuring a buffet of stars that includes Michael Sarah, Mary Elizabeth Weinstein, Chris Evans, and Brie Larson. Scott has to battle his way through the evil ex-boyfriends of his love interest, Ramona Flowers. Along the way, Scott, with the help of the sex bombs, learns plenty about Ramona, but more about himself. A movie that never really takes itself too seriously. Edgar Wright's direction combined with Bill Pope's cinematography makes this film endless amounts of fun with an incredible rewatch factor. I 1000% believe that. Look, man, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, you know, we, we use the... The, the, the big dreaded F word around here a lot. Fun. That's what this movie is. It's just a lot of ridiculous fun. It really is a comic book come to life is what this is. Somehow, and I don't know how, this is the best video game movie we have ever gotten. And it's not even based on a video game. It is incredibly faithful to the comic book written by Brian Lee O'Malley. Uh, this movie Without Edgar Wright, this movie does not do as well as it does. I think he is, every once in a while, you can get a competent director to make a very good film. And every once in a while, you get a perfect director paired with the perfect project. This is one of those instances. Edgar Wright's direction in this is just absolutely masterful. In anybody else's hands, it would have just been okay. Um, this is my favorite performance from Michael Sarah. Is my favorite performance from Karen Culkin, although I haven't seen him in uh, Succession. I hear that's the show to watch. Uh, for me, it's what put Mary Elizabeth Weinstead on the map. Now I check out as much as I can of everything that she's in, with the exception of Gemini Man. Don't bother with that one. You check it out on cable or whenever it comes out or streaming somewhere. Uh, the sheer bevy of who's who in this film, just including the people I've already mentioned. You got Hugh Jackman in there. You got Anna Kendry, Brandon Routh, Jason Schwartzman, Allison Pilt. It's just like everyone came out to play in this movie because they, they probably saw that script and they're like, what is this ridiculousness? I must be part of this ridiculousness. Uh, my favorite scene in this movie, I think, is when Scott earns the power of self-respect. And that is a great cheer-worthy moment. In a, in a movie that's got a lot of good, silly moments, I think that's the, the one real moment that really brings this whole thing together. And Scott has earned the power of self-respect and he pulls that sword, that glowing sword out of his chest. Man. I love this movie. The visuals are great. It's light. It's breezy. It is a film definitely where it's another one of those good, like, Saturday, Sunday afternoon films, man. You know, I got to wash the dishes. Let me put on the movie real quick. Boom. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. It will get you where you need to be. And that's why it is number 96 on our list of 100 for 100. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. 